Okay, I said I was going to take a picture of the Illuminati across the street, so I'm going to. And then you guys tell me to leave my house again after they killed my best friend that me, that we were doing a child tra sex trafficking pedophilia. All right. Yeah, one second. All right. What does that look like to you guys? I just took the picture. What does that look like? What does that look like to each of you guys? Is that not a Illuminati sign? You have been outing for how long? That's right across from me. Right across from me. Right across from me. Who have I been outing the whole time and my friend got killed? And you want me you want me to leave my house? That everything will be just all right, right? I had to take it out my window, so I apologize, but I'm trying. I'm trying. So you guys want me to leave my house, even though I've been out in these people for over three years and then my friend dies, right? You just want me and, and they know what I look like. So you just want me to just, yeah, just get in my car and go. No, they wasn't red ball. They were built by actual people who worked on the fucking railroad. And they found this town and it was called the boom town. And they built this. It used to be a general store in 1890. Yes, my friend died. And we had to go and watch all of these fucking child porn sites. Like 49,000 of them for a whole year. And you couldn't turn your head or nothing. And everybody just thinks, oh, just leave your house, Betty. It's okay. Just leave your house. Yeah. They, every one of them's got a picture of me and you want me to leave my fucking house when that's right across the street from me. <laughs> Their building has no windows either. They have no windows either. None. Yeah, this was back in the 1890s. Before blood was able to be in it in the 1985s or 87 when they cleared it. Get the 14 year old out of our room. We can't have 14 year olds in our room. Sorry. The people that made these bricks worked their ass off. 40 feet up. Yeah. No, you're not mature enough. No, you're not mature enough. I'm sorry, sweetheart. No, you're not mature enough. The conversations that we have are not mature enough for you at this time. I'm sorry. If you was 18, it'd be a different story. But we talk about things that you don't need to know right now. You can watch my videos. And things like that, if it's age appropriate, I'm going to start putting age restrictions on my videos as well. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm just saying that we, we can't do this. No. I'm sure you're a wonderful, beautiful person.
Why? I'm 43 and I'm proud of it. There will be age restrictions. With the NIG Illuminati, what do you mean? They've all been given a picture of me, okay? Every one of them. <laughs> they killed my friend over what we were doing. They're all into the pedophile rings. They all have a picture of me. It went back to my phone. They were on my phone. Got had to get them off my phone. Moved here, was secure, and looked across the fucking bill, looked across the street, and there they were. Yes, Saudi Arabia, Obama, Bush, um, Bush, Clinton are all the reason that there is an epidemic of heroin use. And I think Saudi Arabia has already been burnt down. And see, that's good. You just said never tell your age and you just said your age. <laughs> Shit. Yes, it was very, very scary at the time. So scary. Both my brothers and I backed out when we, when he appeared. It was around two a.m. Pitch black outside. Next thing we knew, it was seven a.m. Wow. Please tell us what happened with your friend. What was his mindset and everything before his life was taken? He was ghosting on all of the deep. We had to go through five layers of the deep web. And we, it took us a year and we got 49,000 porn sites off of the deep web, 49,000 of them. I even put them in Facebook and went to Facebook prison um, and they were deleted. But you say, wow, well, here we go here. Well, you want to know or you don't want to know? I mean, I'm just, okay. So anyways, he would have, he, he had several screens. So he would, he would have one where it, where he was actually looking at me right over the top of his screen, right where he could see me. But it would look like he was looking at what was going on with the children. And we heard and had, and because you can't turn your head and you have to pay for it. We spent thousands of dollars, okay, to go into these rooms. No shit. We spent thousands of dollars to go into these rooms. We were getting really close to this pedophile ring on a farm in Indiana. One of them was on um, the pedophile website and it was, are you interested in any of these children while they were raping them, by the way? And they went, they averaged from one to I don't know, maybe 10 years old, girls and boys. And um, so they put like this email. And so my friend Adam Randall, which is from Ohio, you can look it up. He gave him his email while he was ghosting. He, he was a computer guru. And then they give you another place from that email to another secret email. And then from that secret email to another screen where there's nothing on the screen, but then you got to put in a code and then it shows up. And then they show you the farm and they show you that the kids are held in the farm and that there's bed in there so that you will have your privacy with the, the child. And I believe it was like $10,000 for an hour with the child. And so since we were ghosting, he was getting really close to getting the address of where it was located. And so he called me and he's like, Betty, we're getting really super close. We're getting really, really close. Like one more time and I will have the IP address whether they're ghosted or not, he goes, because he, he knew how to break through that stuff. And he goes, and I will have their address. And he goes, and from there, we'll figure it out what to do. And I was like, okay. 
Well, I went offline for a day. Well, I was actually, I went to Facebook prison. Um, and I was in Facebook prison at the time. And I just got out of Facebook prison. It was like two days after I talked to him, we chatted and we had a good conversation. He was kind of an asshole. Like he would say, I would say, you know, I don't think your ghosting is working. I think they can still find you. And he would say stuff like, oh, no, they can't find me. I'll leave my door open for them. And unlocked for them, whatever, you know, and which he left his door unlocked all the time. And I was like, stop, Adam, seriously, I'm not I'm not joking around with you. Like they will come and get your ass, you know, like you're you're going to we're going to take them down. Their whole fucking ring, you know. And so it was like two days later, I had gotten a voicemail from him, but I didn't answer my phone. I don't remember what I was doing or whatever. And um, so I didn't answer my, I didn't even see the call until the next day. And the next day I had a voicemail from him, Betty, it's urgent, call me immediately. There, this is very important. I need you right now type of thing. And so then I erased it, not thinking nothing about he would be dead, not even thinking or I would have kept it, you know. And I go on to um, Facebook because I just got out of Facebook prison. And all of a sudden, one of my friends comes up, you know, on my on um, my messenger and says, Betty, did you know Adam's dead? And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, his um, father found him on the couch. They had to bust down the door. Now, mind you, he never locked his door. Bust down the door. And I said, what did he die from? And she said, natural causes. Nothing was wrong. He didn't do opiates. He didn't do drugs. He smoked weed. Okay. I spent a lot of time on the phone with this guy. <clears throat> going through the most horrible things, horrific things you could ever imagine. The screaming that they'll, it'll never leave my mind. Ever. And so... He was killed. So I called and his dad answered the phone and I told his dad, I said, is it, I said, is Adam, is Adam dead? And he said, yeah. And I said, what did he die from? And he said, natural causes. And he said, but it's weird because he wasn't sick. Nothing. I said, I know. I know. And he said, but the weird thing is because he had breakfast with his dad every morning. He said, the weird thing is, is that his door was locked and we had to break down his door. He goes, he never locks his door. So I told him what we had done. And he said, okay, tomorrow I'll come back and get all of his computer stuff. Because he was a computer guru as well. And I can. Um. And when he came back the next day, all of his computers, all of his screens, all of his stuff was gone. Every bit of it. <laughs> How do you, do you think you become a moderator that quick? Oh, uh, I don't know. So I'm just going to give you his name so that you guys can see. I don't lie. And he died February 24th, 2018. Um, I'm still running a group actually um, that we had together and he was the main person and I was the second person underneath it and so when I'm on Facebook I have to accept everybody because I don't know what his password is no they didn't just wipe it clean they took the whole son of a bitch with them so then the next thing that I knew was I felt something was wrong with my phone and it kept deleting all my shit. And I was like, what's going on? And it kept trying to, people kept trying to get in. So I take it to my carrier and I say, you know, something was wrong with my phone. I had a brand new phone. Thank you. I appreciate that, Lori. I had a brand new phone. And I was like, so the guy takes it back to the back and he comes out white as a ghost. And he's like, Betty, you have the CIA and the FBI on your phone. He goes, I have to check and make sure you don't have a warrant for your arrest.
because otherwise they should not be on your phone trying to track you. And he goes, they haven't, nobody's found you. I said, no. He goes, the only thing that saved you is you didn't have your location on. <clears throat> so they checked me, you know, to see if I had a warrant for my arrest and I didn't. And they wiped that phone clean. And then I had to pay $600 by another phone, get another phone number and everything else. And now I don't even, what is going on with this? Hello? Yeah. Hey. Uh-uh. All right, sorry about that, guys. Oh, that was an actual, that was um, the lady that owns this place. Um, and uh, she, her son is an RN, and he needs to do, um, uh, he needs like a baby in order to do like uh, testing, you know, and how good they are, and, you know, if they're setting up at a certain, you know, things like that. And so she said that <coughs> in about an hour, if I didn't mind, they would come up here and do the testing and stuff. And I was like, I would love to know um, what, you know, how she's doing because she was born two months early. And, um, you know, I work with her really hard, you know, so I would love to know, you know, how her, you know, how she's progressing. And so she was like, yeah, well, he needed a baby. And first person I thought of was, I know where a baby is. <laughs> so. In an hour, she's going to be tested and see how I got to go. Oh, I love you. I see you, Ian. So thank you all for your prayers and stuff for my friend. And I'm not going to have my friend's death in vain. And uh, so that's why it's been my mission. But it's been our mission all along. We didn't make money. We paid money. You have to pay to go to these sites. Sometimes $500 or bitcoins. Good morning, Juan. Not the arrest we want, but masses are going to be rounded up or even executed is what I was told. Mostly all of those who believe in our Heavenly Father. Yeah, 62 people 
and we got 28 thumbs up. I guess the recording me, which I already said at the beginning, do not record my video because I am monetized. And I, I do have a friend that can, that can start sending stuff to them showing that you're uploading my video without it, without my copyright on it. And that's how YouTube makes their money. I don't make hardly anything. I made $54 last month for 700,000 minutes. Yeah, you think I'm getting rich. I'm just so damn rich. Yes, we need to light our torch and ward off danger and fight the spiritual warfare because my friend did not die in vain. And he didn't even have children. But he saw my mission and he wanted to do the mission with me because he had more equipment. At the time, I didn't even have a computer. I just had my cell phone and was doing it. And he wanted to join forces with me. So go look it up, guys. Go look it up or I'll look it, or I'll look it up for you. Show you I'm not a liar. I hate it when I have to do this shit, but you know what? I'm not a liar. And that's why that day that I came on and I lied for fuckhead, um, whatever his name is, um, David Tottacini, I couldn't stand myself. I could not stand myself. I had to come and say, and then once I did, well, fuck, then you have people trying to uh, call me a liar and a spoof and all this fucking crazy shit. And it's like, really? Like, really? You're going to call me this fucking shit, you dumb fuck? When you don't even know what I went through all night because of my baby girl that's here? Yeah, you lost your fucking mind. Here you go, guys. This was a good man. Very good man. We also wrote different things about Islami. There you go. Look it up yourself. February 21st, 2018. I moved here August 2017. And right across from me, after he died, there's the Illuminati. But you guys expect me to leave my house. Oh, it's okay. Go drive your car. Leave with your seven-month-old granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Put her in the car seat. Make it to where it's easy for them to get you. Go ahead and do that. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what you need to do, Betty, because we want you dead. Prepare for the worst, but I think it's a uh, DS scare tactic to get off line for the midterms with uh, grab them. No, we. What was you asking me, Pam? But what you have to lie in that video because he was, he had gotten my number because I called and I didn't star 67 it. So that I could online, on live, so that I could have his point of view of the video that I did about him with all his charges. And he called me back and he kept calling me. And even the video that you go look at on Kickstand right now that I'm getting ready to put up myself, um, he's threatening me through the whole fucking video. He'll find me. He's got people knocking on my door, blah, 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 right? Well, that night after I got off of, or um, that night before I went live, he called me and he was like, I can find you, Betty. I will find you. He's like, I became something a long time ago, a Freemason when I was in Vietnam in the army. He goes, don't think that I can't find you. Well, then he put my number up on the fucking thing. So I called him and I tried to make a truce with him just to get my fucking number down. And I made a truce with him. But the the way that you make the truce 
is if you tell people that he is not a pedophile, that that person died or he got framed. I had a choice. Or how bad would it be if I didn't, if my daughter, if my kids never seen me again, or I never seen my granddaughter? And so I went on. He went on. He watched every move that I made. I couldn't hardly do it. I tried to put a smile on my face. I tried to just play music. Um, I did the best that I could, but it wasn't good enough in his opinion. And so he called me all night long, telling me that he was going to find me. Yes, he is a pedophile. That is why you see my videos up. And I could not wait for my carrier to get to um, open so that I could change my phone number and come and tell my people the truth. And then he tried to go on on his thing and say, oh, Betty came back and told a different story because she was losing her subs. No, you can't lose your subs if they really care about you and like you and love you you can't lose somebody that cares about you if you lose somebody they didn't care about you anyway let them go yes harass oh it was worse and then i had to call the police because it was so much harassment but this was the next day and and this was just and he didn't record it and I was changing Serafina's diapers I was feeding her I was doing shit where I wouldn't even buy my damn computer because he was calling during the day oh but he sure ain't gonna show you guys that recording I wish to hell I would have been here where I could have recorded it I would have but I came straight back the next morning and I told everything. I don't even know what else to say, you know? Someone wanted to make a documentary interview about your experience uncovering this stuff with your friend. Would you allow it? Yes, I would. Um, I don't know, I'm not pinging. I think that um, it's my phone going off because it's on vibrate. No, I didn't upload it yet. I got to put the rest of it to it and his picture and stuff. Oh, it's okay, though. I just gave you the link to it, you know, who's a very good guy. Yep, people will still follow him no matter how much proof you have, no matter what. They're still going to follow him, but I don't care. I put my videos back up because he's got all, he's got videos where he's got me and him beside each other. My picture and his fucking pedophile picture. And it makes me want to puke because he's in fucking love with me or something. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah, well, um, I don't know if uh, Stoney knows this or not, but David was recording their conversation in August. I just got told that, and I guess he put it on his video. Kathy was, I was the very first person to make him famous and believe him. And within three days, I knew he was a fucking cocksucking Satanist liar because I've got over 20 emails of the motherfucker. And he's having a meltdown because his handler quit handling him and he's not going to be able to to open his satanic church or anything else because he's not making enough money nobody's paying him enough when he wanted money he would ask for mikey yep still follow him no matter what that's how my husband and i found your channel well i'm glad i'm glad that you found my channel because I was the very first one to break his story. And you guys can go through my YouTube and look from 4chan.
4chan. Then he went live in a pool. And I broke that one. And I put him in 650,000 Trump, 650,000 people on one of my Trump groups and 250,000, 237,000, I think, on my um, Q group. And that's how the motherfucker got so popular. By the time I realized he was a fake and a phony, he already had 21,000 followers because of me. Not because of Lift the Bell. Lift the Bell was a week later. When this motherfucker started, he had 1,000 followers and no retweets and no nothing. Nothing. By that night, he had over 15,000 followers. By the next day, 21,000 followers. Um, four or five days later, he went on Lift the Bell. Lift the Bell would not have gotten him that many fucking followers. Trust me on that. My videos hit 60, 70,000 people. But then when, when I went to outing, I was the bad person. I lost like 200 people, 300 people on my subbing. I didn't give a shit. I don't care about numbers. But I did give a shit that people believed this motherfucker. Well, that's good. They could go to Taylor Swift. Yeah, 30 years I was pulled. Video, what is that about? It has Metallica cover on it. Oh, it's about the music industry and how they tell you that they sold their souls to the devil back then. And some of them, how they had special powers and stuff back then. And then John Todd, John Collins, which if you watch that one of the Illuminati, um, that one tells you how he ran the whole music industry and they would put demons in the music before they put it out. I mean, hey, Sonia, how are you? We will see who is satanic after arrest. The guilty ones will disappear. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, Ian, it's everywhere. But especially what scares me is I'm out in these motherfuckers. <laughs> they got my picture. They had my phone. But thank God they couldn't find me. I picked it up within a day, never used my location, and got out of it quick. You know? Quick. Like, boom. God did it. Not me. God did it. Are your videos about David? Back up. They were down yesterday. Yes, they are back up. Yes, they are. Because people need to know the truth. Period. They need to know. Not anymore, he ain't. Yeah, I do. I'll tell you everything. I don't care. I'm, I'm very transparent. A father, Ripper, Jer. Rip, rip, ripper, no, I, I don't, I don't, is that a Catholic priest? Probably. I just don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. <coughs> I can't, I can't. Is he a good priest or a bad one? Talking how he sold his soul. Now he doesn't like singing songs from the past. He looked for very sad during the interview. Yeah, because he made, they said, after 50 years, why are you still doing this? Because I made a deal. And I got to keep up my bargain. Did I ask who you made a deal with? Well, with the chief, the chief commander. Can I ask if that's on earth or not on earth? And he said, well, it's on earth and beyond. Below, below is what he said. I love you too. You're welcome, Warhawk. And if you guys want to know a lot more about me and see that I've been doing this for years and years and years, just go to my Betty Washam on Google or let's chat with Betty Washam or Anything, and you guys will pick up any video that you want to watch. 
and you'll see I've been doing the same day. And sometimes you'll see where I say, hi, Adam, how are you doing, sweetheart? Mwah. And you can see his fucking name. It's hard for me to watch some of them because of that. Or Adam Randall's in the house, I would say. You speak Holland? I don't know Holland, honey. But they're so brainwashed, deceived, that they don't know they can break their deal with it, Satan. I know. Hey, Ash, Drop and Jolly. How are you? So all the names that Isaac Cappy named in Hollywood, are they true? Yeah, because you can find them on the internet for the last 10 years. The last 10 years. I mean, there's nothing new. Heather was killed by Steven Spielberg. Um, in 1985, that's 20 some years ago, 30 years ago. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sweetheart. I'm not. Yeah, it's sad. And then. You know, six years ago, my mom died in my arms at age 55. That's why I didn't like that number no more. And then two years ago, my father was killed when somebody was texting and driving and went over in his side of the lane. And if you want to look up my who I am, look me up. Betty Lorraine Washam. All you're going to see is I'm an heir. Because my dad's estate's still in probate. They cut his John Deere tractor in half when it jackknifed. How many people you know a John Deere tractor gets cut in half? John Deere had never had it happen before. It's okay. It's okay. It's just nobody, you know, that's why it cut me to the bone with, you know, them making fun of me and calling me a trainee and, and all this stuff because I don't have anybody at home that lifts me up and tells me that I can do it. I don't have anybody to lean on until now. I got some friends that I can trust. I had to do background checks on them. Well, guess what? My background checker did one on me because somebody told her that I wasn't Betty Washam, that that was my alias, that I was still in some model's name. Yep. She's in here. Lady Irish. She did a background check on me. No, I've not seen it, and I don't want to, Pam. I've seen, I've, 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 I've seen still shots of it, and I know what my friends have said to me about it. I can tell you about it, but I do not want to see it. I, I've seen enough. Bye, Sonia. That's right. You guys are my spiritual family. And my angels, because I don't have any family. I don't have, except my kids and my grandbabies. My family are gone. I can't call my mom up and say, Mom, I'm having a hell of a time. What do you suggest? Dad, people are treating me like this, think I have a nose job. What do you suggest? Calling me a trainee. Well, you guys can go all the way back to my fucking records, and I'm a female. Hell, you want me to show you my birth certificate? I don't fucking care. <laughs> like a real birth certificate? I will. I'll go get my birth certificate. I don't give a shit. I'll hide some things on it. Thank you, Lori. You look pretty today. 
David from Philly, did you put video? Yep, I sure did. Yes, I did, Scrubadola. Yes, I did. Yes, Kanye got caught with a Pornhub video. My take is struggling with the addiction and Trump gives tough love, but still loves him because, yes, Trump is not perfect. Taylor Swift has gone too far. Yes, lost my dad in 2003. Really never had my mom because she's schizophrenic, but I do have my siblings and my son. Amen. Betty Boop saying, no, I can't show you guys. I don't know what I can show you besides that, that I'm 100. Well, actually, you want me to get in my closet here and dig and dig and dig until I find the picture of me when I was pregnant with Madison with real short fucking hair up to here. And it was my belly that night I had her. They let Freaky Wiener out yesterday early. He has more charges pending. Believe they are using him for informant. I hope so. I know they don't deserve it, but I just want people, people who come in or people who see this, that I'm transparent. I don't have to lie and I'm not a fucking trainee. I don't know what to do. Do you want me to show you a picture when I was 24? You want me to show you my, my, how about this? This actually fell off my desk the other day and broke. But I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just a transparent person. You want to find out about me? Go find out about me. But you're not going to find me. You won't ever find me. Even if I move out of this motherfucker, you still won't find me. Because I'm getting the fuck away from that dude. All right. This is me. When I was like six years old. See? See my eyes? See me? Am I wearing a girl shirt? Ruffles? See? Does that look like me? See my nose? Yes, I am in hiding, 100%. This is me in eighth grade or seventh grade, sorry. Before I had braces. See? See my eyes? My eyebrows? See? 100% woman. It's ridiculous. Oh, but Mr. Kicks. Stan, I know what you look like. Today, you're going to see what you look like. And today, you're going to see your real name, too. And you're going to think, how in the fuck does Betty get that information? Well, I'm the new sheriff in town. So fuck all you. You guys ain't doing shit. Except bullying people and hurting people. I'm not here to bully people or hurt people. I'm going to take those motherfuckers down, which is you. You're going to be taken down. And Rach C, I'm getting ready to find out who the fuck you are too, bitch. <clears throat> Anything else I can prove? Kickstand's the one that made the video of me calling me a trainee. Saying that my body was a man. Because I couldn't be built like that. Well, my grandpa worked me like a fucking dog. And I still have muscles from it. Never worked out in my life. It killed her. They say she fell from the bed and hit the other bed. That bed was 10 feet away. Yep. My mom was killed by her husband. I can show you pictures six months before she died. Poisoned her. Are you sure she said that, Betty? I didn't see that video. Who said that? 
Rach C. Oh, that bitch has been saying all kinds of shit. And she's the one laughing in the background recording the video of me. They are miserable people who have to put people down. Yep. Pam, I see it. Is anyone seeing mine? Is anyone seeing my comments? I see you, Alan. Sorry, I'm back. Alan, what's your question? Seeing what? Hey, David. I'm still waiting for my cigar. Yeah, it's horrible, Bobby. Hey, Betty, you have some of us to lean on. If you want to do a background check on me, you can email me and I will give you more info. That would be great because I'm looking for more people. Yeah, the chat moves so fast, I can't. Sometimes I have a brain injury. The video of USA Net for Truth page has been has a phone call of Betty. Go listen to it. Everyone should. Yes, they know that I did everything in my power to get my phone number down. My people all know that. I even took, called them and told them I was going to make a truce just to get my fucking phone number down. Because I had weirdos fucking calling me. I know the truth, Alan. I know the truth. Go look at the videos. The, it, the pictures don't lie. Yes, he's a stalker. Go look at his videos. He's got my picture right beside his with our conversations. And then he didn't go to the police. He wasn't at the police station. Listen really close to what he says. Uh, I'm at the police station. I'm walking in the police uh, office or the police um, the police door right now, Betty, as I got your text. Okay, well, when he goes back and reacts it, he's on the fucking um, sidewalk saying, I received texts from Betty, goes into the police department, and you don't see nothing else. Then he makes a call to someone, I don't even know who the fuck it was, wasn't anywhere I live, <clears throat> to get me for terrorist threats, for crying out loud, terrorist threats, okay? And they told him to call his own jurisdiction. Well, we don't have no phone call of him calling his own jurisdiction, do we? But we have cops coming to my house. No, my number's not up. Mm -mm. Nope. That is a girl. You look like one of my high school friends. A trainee is Muchina Obozo and Michael Devon Robertson. Yeah. If anybody can fix David, you Betty wash them. Box his wagon. Oh, I am. Boy, I got him so he got so worked up. He didn't know what the hell to do. But then whenever he trapped me by having my phone number because I was stupid and didn't call a star 67. That's how he got me. Yeah, he has too much time on his hands because he fucking don't work. And he wants you guys to pay for children that he can't be around. Or feed them. Or he cares about our country, but he can't fucking vote. Because he's a tier three pedophile. So how does he care about our country? How's he going to vote? <laughs> I'm going to fix his wagon. I'm going to fucking pull the wagon across the fucking world. Just go play it on his live feed and we can all hear it. Okay. My people already know I called. My people told me to because I said, I got to get this fucking video down. My people were like, what are you going to do, Betty? And I said, I'm going to fucking call and sweet talking. That's exactly what I fucking did. And it worked, right? Because he has a fucking crush on me and wouldn't stop fucking texting me and calling me. All my people know that. And Johnny Super Tramp, don't come on my videos anymore. Ever. You've been using my cappy shit since day fucking one. Get your own shit. Do something else. Go around talking about me and coming on here and acting like you're my friend so you can use my shit and then start making cartoons of it. Fuck you. I'll find out who the fuck you are too and out your ass. All right, which one did he, which one is it? Betty and I having a conversation. Um, 
Betty goes full Mon Monty batshit blames for me for Anon doxing her. My Anons didn't dox me, you stupid fuck. They're still here. Betty and me call a truce. Here it is. It's fucking stupid ass holier than now fucking music. <laughs> fucking pedophile. Rape a little eight year old boy. Lady Irish, tell them that you did a background check on me because people told you that I was not me. Tell them. Tell them I'm not a fucking criminal. I won't even let anybody work with me that's a fucking criminal because nobody's going to come back and say they found anything on my people. I'm right here listening to it. Do you not hear it? Ellen, it's playing this fucking stupid ass song. Yeah, he said Air Force, then he said Army. Hello, this is Dave from Net for Truth USA. It is October 7th, 2018. Yeah, his lie. Go into the post, go into the police station after our call. Oh, hang on. There's the Trump train. Okay, now he made this video after we we after I chatted with him, and it was recorded at his house. And you're gonna see where he lies. I'm right here. The Trump trains come here. Alan, get get your fucking pants out of the wad. Damn. You ain't my fucking dad. complaint of harassment and terroristic threats against Betty Washington. She has succeeded in breaking my balls for the past two weeks, putting bullshit out on the internet using, illegally, using public records to put people out on blast that she doesn't agree with. And this psycho bitch has not only done this to me, but has done this to several other people who I've been in contact with. One of them sent me a link the other day to a YouTube page where her phone number is displayed. That he did. And I told her, I have nothing to do with it, but I gave her a heads up. Your phone number is on this thing. No, he didn't. They, they dox you, and they're pretty close to putting all your other information out there. See? And she blew me off. Okay, see? She, he says he knows where I'm at. Put all your other information out there. But you guys are saying he didn't He didn't harass me when we got off of the phone. She calls me back, and she blames me for putting her on blast. I don't do those types of things. I just tell the truth. And I'm recording this video. No, it's going to, this is the one that's going to show where I called him and made a truce. What are you talking about, Alan? I'm getting pissed off because you're making no damn sense. And I don't have a lot of patience. Yes, mother, that's him. Do you see him? Do you see him? Come on. Is that not him? God bless America. I'm playing it. This is how he started the motherfucking video. Another video that is right now on, well, this is the one that's going to be on, uh, on unlisted. He sent it to me first. To make it public. I'm going to see what the legal system does about this person who is obviously trying to get views on her site along with all the other trolls. Somebody's trying to call me and I can't accept it. And other people that she works with trying to destroy the presumption of innocence and not listening to facts. Yes, I can see you, Jeff. Opinions and editing 
live streams where I trolled a person with uh, abandoned farmhouses and things that don't exist. <laughs> yeah, they do exist. They Lady found them. Lion Singer, proving beyond the shadow of a doubt that if you're operating in the court system today, you're literally playing Russian roulette. No, you're not. I have to park my car here somewhere. Right. Yes, it is. No, you're gonna stay, Alan, because this is how he start. Do you want me to fucking? Re you want me to fucking fast forward the son of a bitch for you? Say that you can swear that Obama said that shit, and nobody would dispute it because it was that good, and it's only on a little computer. These, but then I find out that these there's a cult. And the cult, the, the, I would just appreciate it if you would just take down everything you made of me, like I, by an alternator. Go back and look at all the videos. Also, another person, Chuck. Here you go. Here you go. Motherfucker, man. He's got his stupid shit. It's coming on right now. Yes, David. I couldn't hear you. I, you know, well, I got your message just as I walked in the door to the police station. That's okay. I already had the police here last night. I just wanted to make a truth, and I don't have any of your videos up, and I would appreciate it because I am in hiding. I would appreciate it if you take down my phone number. I really would. You don't have any well, of the information, correct? Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something, Betty. I had nothing to do with that. I was sent the link by somebody who, I, when I replied to his email, it's, it, it, the message never went to him. It okay, came back as you, undeliverable. Make them take it off. I don't know who it is, Betty. I don't know who it is. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. I'm going to try and hack it. I'm going to try, because I, I know, I kind of know. I kind of know, but I, I don't, I can't say for a fact, I don't make accusations that I can't prove. I but know, I, I took down everything, I'm tired of the BS, I'm tired of fighting, I just, you know, I'm just looking out for the children, I asked for your, your side of the story. Well, Betty, the, the, the convoluted <laughs> clusterfuck of this case is beyond even my comprehension, and I'm involved in it. You understand? There's, there's over six thousand people that got exonerated by DNA that were in jail for just the same exact shit. So you gotta you gotta realize something. That's why I wanted your story. That's why I wanted to well, talk to the last no, time man. I tried to the last time I tried to give people my story, they twisted it up, they cut the segments out, they did all kind of graphics and all kind of fucking monkey shit. Well, and I'm not looking for that shit. I don't, I don't have all that shit to do. I don't I I, I just now got on YouTube. I don't know, you know, my, my, my platform's usually Facebook, honestly. And so YouTube is all new for me. I don't have, I can't monetize, I can't do all that crazy stuff. I, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not at the Oh point my yet, God, you know? are you serious, and buddy, I dude? I take out people's words or anything else. But, you know, it's You even know so he was texting me and you guys told me not to text I him. I am Heidi. My friend was killed because of what we are doing. And I cannot have people, I've had people calling my fucking number all night long, okay? This, this, this is, I mean, everything else is, it, I don't have a landline, nothing like and, that. And, wh and, and what do you, and what do you do when I get, I get, up at least, yesterday, I went through at least a thousand of those links to that fucking, fucking Freddy site that I had to take out of my spam Where's folder me? because Where's you were on it. Clicking, clicking every message reply to every fucking body who made a comment that I'm a pedophile and I'm this and I'm that. Made comments mean to me. No, I I'm never been. make because you made a video of me. They should never make mean comments to me. They don't. Well, then me. you shouldn't make. Then you know what, Betty? You should mind your own fucking business because I'll tell you what. One day you're gonna fuck with the wrong person and they're gonna find you. And then they're not going to find you if you get my drift. There's one. Yeah, that. I already know. I've been hiding. You don't know who you're fucking with. Leave no that reason. shit alone. If you want to go after, listen, Betty, if you want to go after the fucking pedophiles and these fucking people who are trafficking children, I'm with you 100%. And I'll tell you the I truth. Tell you about them. I'll tell you anything yeah, about them. Yes, we can. Yes, we can expose it. We can't find We can expose it. We can't help the 
Look at I did that for two and a half years. Look at that guy. Betty, but look at that guy who's down in Arizona, veterans on patrol. He's a liar. He has. He has he uncovered the shit. He, 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 um, how much digging can one man do? I mean, he, he, the law enforcement people. Hang on, are, hang, on know, let, hang on, hang on. Let me tell you. Let me. But the law let me tell you something, Gordon. Everybody is one hundred percent accountable for all their actions, beliefs, behaviors, and attitude. They are willfully indulgent, and there is zero other influence on their choices. Justifies hellfire. Bullshit. When you have someone that's on you all fucking night long after you've already made a video saying that he was not guilty because that's what he wanted. And he's constantly saying every hour he's going to find you and you ain't going to be there for your kids and your grandkids ain't going to be there. Don't fuck with me anymore. Stop it. Law enforcement are beyond this shit. They are behind this shit. He didn't uncover anything, okay? He didn't uncover anything. He is actually with the Rockefellers. He's actually with them. He's actually with the people. He's actually just making, getting donations and shit. He, 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 some three people have already died. One person, he raped one Marine girl. He raped on the way to the hospital. I'm not listening to this anymore. I don't have to fucking listen to this. I'm sorry. But I don't have to listen to it anymore. Fuck you. You don't want to go. If you don't fucking know the truth, I don't give a fuck. Get off my channel. Just get off of it. I ain't listening to his fucking sick ass mouth no more. I'm done. <coughs> yeah, on sexual abuse of children. While he was in prison. Your call has been forwarded. Well, I'm trying to call you because you said you wanted me to call you. Do you want to be on live? You want to speak? I'm getting really irritated. I'm just getting really irritated because nobody wants to hear the fucking truth. They want to hear whatever side they want to fucking hear, and I'm sick of it. Hey, what's up, girl? Exactly. Thank you. That's what I try to have. All of these people here love me, care about me, and want to be want me to be in their lives. All you other people could give a shit less. All you other people can give a shit less because I'm coming after all of you. That's why. Don't think I won't. Hello. Hey. No, I've got you on private. You can now. No, he said that he wanted to see the video where we made a truce. So he's lying. Scroll up. I said, scroll up, you'll see what he said. I'm not going to anymore. It's getting very old and I'm getting very aggravated. That's what I just did. <laughs> That's right. You know. Yeah, they need to pay to have his. Um, well, actually, if they just go under sex offender, they'll find him in all 50 states. So. No, and they'll follow him anyway. I don't give a shit. Let them follow him. Let them, let them follow him to hell. Because it's where they're going to follow him to.
Yep, exactly. All right, love you. <laughs> Bye. Right there is his last name. No, I'm just tired. Yeah, I know. I'm tired. I've had a rough couple of days. I'm just, I'm worn out. I'm tired. I just got over being very sick. And I'm tired of being cooped up in my fucking house. Anyways, I'm going to go. And I hope you 76 people learn something today. If you're a bully, a pedophile, a scammer, a fraud, I'm coming after you with my team. Just know that. Just know that. And I've been worldwide for a long ass time. So good luck getting away from that. They're going to know you in Korea. Thumbs up if you support me. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way, I'm monetized and I make money. So fuck you. Until next time, keep a fire in your heart, a smile on your face. Be kind to someone today because we're not promised five minutes of our life. And if you are born again and you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins and that your heavenly father gave his only begotten son so that you may have eternal life, and you die and you go out with a bang by doing these three things, you'll definitely go to heaven. Until next time, I'm out.